In this video, we're going to review how to find circumference of a circle, and then we're going to move on to find um, arc length. And so, that's going to be our objective. Our objective is to be able to calculate the arc length of a circle. And so, a little background knowledge we need is we need to know how to find circumference of a circle, which is the distance around a circle, basically the perimeter of a circle. And so, um, our circumference can be found by multiplying the diameter times pi. Or, instead of diameter, we know that diameter can be represented as twice the radius. You can go 2 times r um, and multiply by pi as well. So these two formulas are equivalent, and they're both good for finding the circumference. I've got a little link right here if you ever want to access that link. It's um, a GeoGebra app that someone made, that, which I think helps you kind of visualize why these equations are the way they are. But that's not the main purpose for, for this video, so I'm not going to jump into it too much right now. And so... Just to, to practice that background knowledge, let's, to find the circumference of a circle, um, we can find the circumference of this circle, which radius is 9 meters, by using our formula that we, we just uh, kind of reviewed, which would be circumference equals twice the pi times the radius. And so we have twice the pi, and in this case, our radius is the 9 meters that's given to us right here. And so if I multiply the 2 times the 9, I could leave that in terms of pi if I wanted to, by just multiplying 2 times 9 and leaving it as 18 pi meters. Um, and I could also throw that into a calculator to get a decimal approximation of what the circumference would be. So now that we're refreshed on circumference, let's um, jump into what we're about to discover. We're going to talk about arc length in this video. So arc measure is something that's in degrees. And so, for example, um, both of these circles have an arc measure of 60 degrees because this arc AB has a measure of 60 because the measure of the arc is the same as the measure of that central angle. And then this circle, arc CD, would also have a measure of 60 degrees. So although the circle on the left is much larger than the circle on the right, the measures of those arcs would be the same because it's measured in degrees. Now the length is where we get into um, the actual distance. So while both the arcs have the same measure, the length of arc AB is greater than the length of arc CD. This would be measured in like inches or feet. If this was five feet, this might be two feet. Um, but they're, So while their measures would be equal, the lengths are different. And so our video today is going to focus on arc length. And so what we're going to do in the next couple slides is we're going to kind of try to derive a conceptual understanding for how we find these arc lengths. Um, and so it's going to hopefully come together here about three slides from now, but let's just kind of have a little conversation before then. Um, suppose you have a circular garden. It's shaped like this. It looks like our radius is five feet, and we've got it divided into all these equal parts. And so what fraction of the circle is one of these sectors? Each little pizza slice is a sector. So let's say we were talking about that sector right there. We would say that that sector is one-eighth of the whole circle. And so then it says find the measure of one central angle. Well, if I look, one central angle would be this guy. And assuming all these sectors are the same uh, size, which I guess we don't have to assume. It tells us right there they're all equal. We can figure out what this angle is. Because if I know this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle, all of these central angles added together would be 360. So what I'm really finding is what is one-eighth of 360? Or you could write it as just 360 divided by 8, but that's going to tell you that it is 45 degrees. Our central angle is 45 degrees. Now, this says write a fraction equivalent to your fraction in number 1, but write the fraction in terms of the central angle. So I want a fraction that's equivalent to 1 8, but that uses the 45 degrees right here. And so what we know is that 1 8 is the same thing as 45 out of 360. In the same way this is one sector out of eight total sectors, this central angle is 45 degrees out of a total of 360 degrees. So what we're trying to do is I really want you to understand that this 45 over 360 is representing a fraction or a portion of the total circle. Now let's keep going. So if we kept that fraction, so if I were to ask what is the circumference of the circle, well, that's not anything new. We know that the circumference would be 2 times pi times the radius, which would be 10 pi, which if I wanted the decimal approximation, that would be equal to roughly uh, 31.42. And so what fraction of the circumference of the circle is shown in blue? In other words, this little arc right here 
what fraction is it of the entire circle? Well, hopefully you're saying um, that's just going to be one eighth. We've already talked about that. Or we could say, well, that's 45 out of 360. I could use either one of those fractions to represent what portion this little arc is out of the whole circumference. This right here is 1 8th of the whole circumference, or 45 out of 360 of the whole circumference. And so this part is where it's all going to come together. It says, look at your answers to 4 and 5. How could we use those to find the length of the arc shown in blue? So what we know is the entire circumference all the way around the circle is roughly 31.42. But we just want one portion of that. We want 1 8th or 45 over 360 of that. So what you could do is we could take that um, 2 pi r, which is the whole circumference, and we could multiply it by 1 8th. But to get to where we're going here in a minute, instead of using the 1 8th, let's use that other form of the fraction. So this would be how we would actually calculate the length of the arc. It's because we're taking the entire circumference and we're saying what portion of that whole circumference do we want. And if I were to do the calculator button pushes here, um, what we would get if I did all those button pushes is that we would get that all this is equal to roughly, keep in mind we're rounding, um, about 3.93 feet. So this little length right here is roughly 3.93 feet. Now, we've kind of learned how to do it, but let's, let's learn how to generalize on the next slide. I want us to come up with our formula for this. And so, here's our problem I copied over from the previous slide. So if we were to generalize and write an equation that would allow you to find the length of an arc with a central angle of N and a radius of R, here's where the rubber meets the road, because right here is what we just did. So let's just generalize this. Because our angle is not always going to be 45 degrees. This, this central angle could be anything. So we know that it's going to be um, N over, I guess I can be consistent with my coloring. It's going to be N over 360. It's going to be some central angle over 360 degrees times 2 pi R. And what that would give you is that would give you the arc length. Okay? So some fraction of the entire circumference is our arc length. Now, last, I just want to show you a proportion because a lot of people use this formula right here. This, this, or I'll call it the equation for this slide, but um, some people use a proportion. And basically, if I were to divide both sides of this equation by 2 pi r to do it as a proportion, what we'd end up with is this. We'd end up with the arc length over the whole circumference is equal to n over 360. Whatever portion that central angle is out of a full 360, it's the same relationship between the arc length we're talking about and the full circumference. Part over whole equals part over whole. So for the rest of this uh, little mini lesson, you can use either this or you can use this. Now let's get a little practice. What's the First it's asking what's the measure of arc AB? And so we gotta pause and say, Measure, okay, well, if it's measure, that's the easy question. The measure here is just 45 degrees because the measure of an arc is the same as that of its central angle. Now, here's where we're getting to our new content. What is the length of arc AB? Now, let's start by using the equation. If I were to use the equation, um, the equation is going to be um, that the arc length, I, let's call it X for now, is equal to... 45 over 360 times 2 pi r, okay? Um, I just use n over 360 times 2 pi r, and now I'm just going to do some calculator button pushes. If I did that, I mean, I could pretty much punch in these numbers and leave it in terms of pi if I wanted to, and what you get is this is 3 pi, um, and you could throw that in the calculator if you wanted um, a decimal approximation of that, but 3 pi is good for me. And if you want to use the proportion, the proportion we learned on the last slide is that the arc length over the entire circumference, which would be 2 times pi times 12, is going to be equal to some angle over 360. And so what we do here is, is you can solve these a number of ways. Um, I'm, I mean, it, let me simplify a little bit first. I'd have x over 24 pi equals this 45 over 360, that simplifies to 1 8th, so that can make our math a little easier. 
But then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cross multiply. 24 times pi is 24 pi. 8 times x is 8x. And then after you divide by 8 on each side, you get that x equals 3 pi. So note you're going to get the same answer using the proportion that you would use using the equation. So there's our answer. Let's try another one. Oops. Now, I guess I should copy in those formulas. I forgot to put them in the PowerPoint. So let's ask ourselves, what's the measure of arc GK? And then what's the length of arc GK? Well, the measure, that's the easy question. The measure is just in degrees. So the measure of the arc is going to be the same as its central angle. That's 150 degrees. Now, the length is where we got to do our math. And so if you want to use the equation, I'm going to do this on the left, and then I'll use the proportion on the right. But to find the equation, to find this arc length, how long this arc is, I'm going to take the central angle, whatever that angle is over 360, in this case it's 150 over 360, times twice the pi times the radius, which in this case is 10. Now, just do the calculator button pushes. I'll leave it in terms of pi, but I'm going to do 150 over 360 times 2 times 10. And I'm going to get, oops, and I'm going to get 8.3 repeating pi. If I wanted to leave that as a fraction, that would be 25 thirds pi. Um, it looks like our, our units are in terms of feet. That little tick mark right there means feet, so I could label these both as feet. And if we chose to use proportion, it's going to be a very similar process. I'm just going to do 150 over 360 equals the arc length, which is what we're trying to find, over 2 times pi times 10. So if I did just a little bit of simplification, I would get 5 twelfths, because 150 over 360 is 5 twelfths, and that's equal to x over 20 pi. So then whenever I cross multiply, 20 pi times 5 is 100 pi. And then 12 times x is 12x. And then the last thing I'm going to do is divide by 12 on each side of this equation. And you're going to get the same thing. You're going to get x equals um, 8.3 repeating pi. Or you could convert it back into that fraction that we got over there. So our answer here is 8.3 repeating pi 